We have a ship. This is our room. Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you? Me. Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket. Yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now. Why are we running from the bad guys? It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. <sighs> so what's the plan here? We just picking up any junk we find? Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? <sighs> How long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. So, you missed the nice one while you were sleeping. I had to teach Drax to identify different tiers of Cato Catalysts. Cato what? Some of the stuff I need. As long as we can use it to patch up the Milano. That's the spirit! Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. There, let's go. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but...
<laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family, your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly. But, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming his word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I, I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. I'm, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey, Drax! We can talk about this. Great. I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. Which is? Amy's been chewing through my wall. Maybe it's a way for me to get out. If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. Bet 
your bark, it's me. And if it weren't for me, the Milano would still be floating dead in space right now. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, we're real grateful that- Done. Meet me in the rec room. Flarkin waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kratakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No. no not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratakin time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. So, where are we anyways? Definitely not sacrosanct. Good. Care to be a little more descriptive? We'll know more once we get outside, assuming Peter gets his butt into gear. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. If everything goes right, we'll be back in no time. And if it goes wrong, well, somebody's got to extract your butt out of there. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. So, how about now? Ready now? Peter, it's gonna take more than 50 ticks to think of a plan. I know you're ready. I'm Groot. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, oh, this stuff is gross! Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, uh, what first the worst? Ah! Uh, 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 Rocket! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being one, and I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. <laughs> what do you mean the plants here are strange? Everything here is strange. Are those even trees? And what are those? Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Tama. More religious nutjobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. Are you brute? You saw them on Nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest, especially pacifists. So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister and... It's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the Matriarch's planet, something's off. The village is this way. You know, for someone who's been here before, you ain't saying a whole lot. Maybe because I don't like to talk about my past. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh. Don't fall and you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Well, even if he did, he knows how to swim. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? You will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. 
We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot Rocket? Yeah, what the Scott Quill? Drax is the one in... Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! Men lost! Rocket, a little help here? Uh. Hi, guys. Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysau once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine yeah. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am good. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him, here. And here we are, where the Kotati take fruit. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. 
Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lies. And it only happens here. Watch out! Double floor! Look! I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. Hey, yeah. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold and wet. Just keep moving once you're in. Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. That's why drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate universe. I have heard so many of his panic final gasps. Okay, let's not tell Little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. <laughs> nice! Whatever you found in there, Quill, pretty sure it ain't worth getting drenched for. to jump here. We'll need to look around. Find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora. Let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. No, genius. The thing about me don't look so dirty. Knock it loose. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem, not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, Think of all the times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Scoff. He saved your butt. He drags a lot of heavy things around. And thrown rocks. Seems to love throwing rocks. Throwing rocks is a proud Katafian custom. This is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. I mean, if push comes to shove, we can get another big guy. Admit it. Drax means a little more to you than that. Fine. Maybe a little more. But not a lot more. Not die in a cave level more. What do you mean it's not a good look? I'm being honest. I am good. I do not secretly love Drax. Ew, gross. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf, first time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Can we be worried about this fog?
Get it! Go on! This thing doesn't belong in a cave! It did look a lot more at home on Sektar! I take it back. Having normal tracks around would have been useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknarf? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy. Because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team! When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. I am. Oh, no, Sir Groot, there's no such thing as the Kotadi route. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer. It's the same across all timelines. I told you, I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on her. This place reminds me of the quarantine zone, in all the wrong ways. Maybe falling apart just like it, too. Something's making the ground vibrate. I don't feel anything. Brute says we should check things out over here. The priests never talked much about these caves. Oh, they wouldn't. Way too dangerous down here. Unseen forces, ominous machinations, unknowable energies. What the flark are we supposed to find down here again? Fear faced fully from far within. Or something like that. It's the something I'm worried about. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. Something somewhere in this dank, dark cave will save Drax? Spooky. We ain't being watched. No one in the right mind would be in this cut flacken cave of flarkin wonders. What's going on? Sir Groot feels the intrusive eyes watching us. Don't worry, my flora, I feel them too. What the fuck? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis! Do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friend? they make when they realize Groot's got him tied oh, up in a I bone. know! Never thought I'd say this, but fighting with you guys is fun! <laughs> okay, yes. I get that it's all bubbly and sparkly out there. We're blasting shots at them and it's so much fun. But, if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? Yes! Oh yeah! Chop them up! Feel this? I should know these ones! Boo boo! Oh, gross! Drax would probably admire these walking tanks! Ha! He said tanks do not walk! Smoke them, Rocket! Please! 
Blade barely scratches these things! Could really use tracks about now! Blow them away, Rocket! Sick of this stupid cape. I am Groot. Who? Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. See that, Green Meanie? That's where we need to be. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> oh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back. Is everyone all right? That explosion was bigger than I thought. All yours, Quill. Watch out for the poison. What do you mean, poison? Take a look for yourself. I'll be out here. Try not to die. need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? How do you know about that? Yeah, no, I just do. What else did the Katati tell you about this place, Mantis? Did they happen to mention the part where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Oh yes, it's very dangerous. Ancient, even. An ancient danger. Or what? Still is. Something. Think you could lift this? No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bark hole shot. There that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? Over here. 
You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see, like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. A figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and, uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, star guy. Me too. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Don't let your thoughts wander. It's not safe. Keep focused on Drax. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Maybe we need to accept that not everything can be explained. The galaxy's a weird place. Just gotta go with the flow. Getting lost in a deadly cave is your idea of going with the flow? We aren't lost, little fuzzy. At least, not in this version. We're recovering what other versions of us have already found. Isn't it exciting? If you want to stop Rooker, Raker, right, Router, this is the only way. Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Here goes Nathan Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what! Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flark, I'm going in. No! You mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! Oh, that's it! I'm going in! Flark it! and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, 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 do... I'm done with all the riddles. Don't not, not do whatever you are doing. Let's you're just hear do. Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Groot, can you tell him to stop? Yes, but... But nothing! I ain't just here to take orders. Mantis, does he kill just himself or all of us? Neither! Bug Lady is full of flark! Rocket, don't! Rocket! You want to know the plan? Yep. Then you run. Oh. 
close one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where's the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Something again, Quill. He saved Drax after you almost killed us all. How'd a gun do that? Show him! Bad guy! I'm telling you, Quill. You should let me take those guns apart. Figure out how they tick. I swear you'll get them back. Mostly in I'm not letting you take apart my guns. And that. How it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me. Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, to towery, Wait, water. Wait, hang on. Did you say Shatari? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! Shit. I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! Opening up some old wounds! Try opening some new ones! You couldn't have warned us that Shatari were hiding out in this cave! They aren't always! Don't you like we just run into you with a live old guy? You're the ones I'm talking about, Starman? I'm familiar with eyeball guys, yes! What I don't get is why they be here! Feel free to ask him! Man, what is this, like the worst timeline? Probably make 
The cure for the promise is here! It makes sense for the church to not want anyone to find it! Been too long since I blew something up! Fog of fear, faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real, anyway. Their attack felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's something down here that's affecting my vision. Don't think it was ever that clear to begin with. Monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. They're rock people. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think they speak their language. Rocket! New gun! Slash of Gamora! You don't stand a chance! Why didn't we see any? Well, as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill, or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it, unlike some people. I know why we're doing it, and don't think Drax won't hear all about it either. Oh, is this the one where little? 
Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Attacking us, don't attack each other. Are you sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell the dark guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! story about how we battled some epic, one-of-a-kind monster. Oh, you won't have to make that up. Just gonna uh, assume you got your timelines crossed again. Huh. This looks like something Gamora could use. Everything here is strange. Strange plants, strange fog, strange company. Probably the weird fogs affecting the plants. Oh no, I feel it too. It's something else. Something powerful. Um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. It's like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving Drax? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. But those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Never mind. Hey, Bug Lady! Exactly how many times you Stop around 50. Yes! It's just a plant plant, not a you. And we ain't got much choice. What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where, oh where, would we get another gun? And... Ugh, crap! It must still be stuck somewhere. What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation. Rocket, don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Gamora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far what? less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? I'm... That's one big beanstalk. Star Lord. Say something? Not so. Who's that? Who's that? I like that. Please, don't 
don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. Less wet. I'm zero percent interested. Right, I'm on it. What's a big ass plant doing all the way down here? The priests call it Buros, giver of light and life. In our case, I'd settle for some shelter. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? He's on his way. Just tell him how high. Mantis, any of those realities where we just need rocket here, hypothetically speaking? Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Hypothetically speaking! Oh, little fuzzy. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. <gasps> Why don't we just leave him behind, focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, eh. Groot would never go for that. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, buddy. You're a valued member of the team. Man, you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. Nice shot, Peter. Oh, uh, thanks. That's why they call me Star-Lord. They're big enough to block the water, but they're growing in the wrong direction. You're the only plant that grows that thing. Let's find Rocket Go! Huh? Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the Seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. God. <laughs> Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing. That you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! What did I just say? You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Clark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. 
We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! What's wrong with my visor? I can't see anything. Huh. Must be Groot's bioluminescence. It ain't on the defined light spectrum. Uh, right. getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic. Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Now it gets loopy? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. 